The player that was blacklisted from the NFL because his identity was stolen. Have y'all ever heard of Rodney Lucky Whitehead Jr.? In 2017, TMZ released that Lucky had been charged with a failure to appear in court over a larceny charge stemming from a robbery he was arrested committing in June. The Cowboys immediately cut Lucky Whitehead. After that, Lucky's agent proclaimed his innocence using flight records to prove that Lucky wasn't even in Virginia at the time of the crime nor the arrest. The person that was arrested on the scene did not have ID on them and instead gave officers a verbal identification giving a name, date of birth, and social security number that all matched Lucky Whiteheads. The cops at the scene put up his picture from the DMV logs and said, this guy looks close enough. The county police soon after issued an apology to Lucky Whitehead, clearing him of all charges. However, the Cowboys refused to let Lucky back on the team, then citing a pattern of behavior that justified the move, regardless of his innocence. Lucky, however, tells a different side of this story. He says he was blindsided by the news and nobody in the Cowboys organization chose to have his back at all. Lucky never saw another regular season snap in the NFL again, and that's why he's...